at the Seattle Boat Show, and we are with Veronica Cargay from Candela, Hydrofoil Electric Boat, and she has been kind enough to offer to take us through, and we're going to pass it over to her and let her do it. Yeah, definitely. So, welcome to the Seattle Boat Show. Um, today we're showing our Candela C8, which is our 28-foot leisure boat. Um, so this is most of what we're kind of producing and selling from the leisure side and the recreational kind of boater side. Um, this is a 28 foot, like I said, it's a fully electric hydrofoil. So no, no gas power, nothing like that. Um, you're just plugging it in and going and the whole hole comes out of the water. Um, so kind of how this boat works, it's very similar to a plane or to a drone system. Um, we've had hydrofoils have been around since the early 1900s, um, but there's a lot of tech that goes into making something like this really usable. So here in the front, we've got um, a pie foil. So this right here is what we call a pie foil. It's two struts that come down with a foil all the way across the bottom of the boat. Um, this is just one piece, carbon fiber, and this is really what's going to be keeping you stable um, and helping you get out of the water. So that's the front foil system here. And then I can walk you guys back to the aft foil system. So this here is our aft foil system and the C-Pod. Um, the C-Pod is our dual electric motor with contra-rotating props that we've created in-house. It's kind of the first motor of its type. There's no oil, no coolant, nothing like that that you're going to have to change from a maintenance perspective. Wow, that um, is very, very cool. Yeah, and that's, that's the whole thing that's getting you out of the water. So this is our only propulsion system on the boat, um, but it's really all that you need to keep you flying. So how this boat works is these foils are fully retractable. Um, if you wanted to go out and go flying, you would put them all the way down. They'll lock into place. And then once you get up to about 16 knots, the boat will automatically take off out of the water. Really? Yeah, exactly. Um, cruising so speed. 16 knots, you're, you're flying. You're flying, exactly. Um, 22 knots is our best consumption. That's going to be cruising speed. Um, so that's where you're going to be operating the boat at most of the time. And you get 57 nautical miles of range at that 22 knots. OK, I saw something that, that this boat broke some kind of record for for range, for range. so yeah. we did sort of a a test on if you had quick charging infrastructure how far could you get mm -hmm. um, so the idea behind that is we would run the boat for about an hour and a half plug it in on a quick charger for 15 minutes and run the boat for another hour and a half and we did that for a full 24 hours and we did about 420 nautical miles so it's, it's kind of looking at the future and looking at, okay, you know, people have a lot of range anxiety with something that's electric, um, but as infrastructure catches up, you know, we'll be able to get pretty darn far. Yeah. Um, this boat charges on either a traditional shore power 30 amp, 50 amp, or a DC quick charger. Um, so you can work with the current infrastructure or with the future infrastructure. Um, but we can go on board. <laughs> Please. Yeah. This is sort of the aft foil system here. You've got different retraction modes. So this is where the lock pin goes in. Um, we have four separate modes of retraction. You can do shallow mode, foiling mode, um, planing, which is to use it as you would a traditional vessel, um, or harbor mode, which pulls both foils pretty much completely out of the water. So while you're at the dock, you can reduce growth, things like that. Um, you can trailer this boat just like you would a normal boat. Do that in shallow mode where it is right now. And then as you come aboard, you can kind of see how everything is laid out. So this seats up to eight people. It's a six plus two layout. Um, you've got a really lovely sunbed back here. And underneath this is storage. Um, call this the garage of the boat, pretty much. But we just store all of our, you know, cords and fenders, things like that, in here. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, down in here, you've got the V-berth. You can take a little glance in there. 
um, makes it usable for you know overnight trips if you want or just a nice place to get out of the rain. Yeah, it's finished beautifully. It's... Sorry. Thank you. Um, so then you can come over here. This is your control system and you can see your front foils here. So this black uh, motor that's sitting on the top of these foils are an actuator. So these are doing about 100 adjustments a second while you're flying to this front foil to keep you stable. Wow. Um, all of that is controlled through this computer. So this is our flight control system. Um, everything that you're going to be operating on the boat is pretty much going to be done through this. You've got all of your active numbers, so while you're flying, you'll see you know, your speed, the depth, throttle, roll, all of that. And then over here, you've got all of your control systems. So you can mess with brightness. We've got a night mode, should you be out on the water in the dark. Um, you've got all of your other sort of navigation lights. There's wipers up here in the front. So once you're on board, this is basically a very nicely laid out 27 foot runabout. Yeah, wow. definitely. Um, it's yeah, it's a really easily usable day boat yeah. for people that are that are heading out on the lake or the bay or wherever they might be going. Um, it's a great boat to be out on the water on. You're not slamming around. It's quiet. You can chat like this at 22 knots, um, and you've got no wake coming out the back. And are you you currently in production? I mean, you're, you're yep. Okay. Yeah. So this is the C8, and this is currently in production. Um, we've delivered a handful of these worldwide, and we'll continue to work through those deliveries. Um, we've got over a hundred orders on the books, so that's kind of what we're working through. This is the second model that we've done. So previous to this, we did the C7, a little bit of a smaller boat, um, it was a 25 foot, and had some different systems but this is kind of what we're selling now. Um, and then we're also working on our Pro Series. So we're doing a 40-foot catamaran that seats 30 people. It's a ferry. Just breathtaking. And the technology is fascinating. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, we've spent a lot of time on, uh, on boats like this. The company is about to hit their 10-year anniversary this year. Um, so we've, we've had time to really dig into how to use a boat like this and kind of what customers want and what that might look like. Um, yeah, you can see the retraction menu here like I was talking about earlier. Um, so that's what's going to pull the foils up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to go foiling, you'd just click the foiling button. They would deploy all the way down. You wouldn't see them here in the front. Um, and then get up to speed and start flying. Amazing. Outstanding. And I like the fact that it's the flight controller. Yep. <laughs> I know. We've got some fun some fun phrases. Okay. Um, sometimes we get people who are like, you really call it flying? And I'm like, that's the only word for it. It's what it feels like. It's not like a traditional boat. So, Candela's been around since 2014. Um, they're based in Stockholm. That's where all of our facilities are. We engineer, design, and manufacture almost everything in-house. Mm -hmm. Um, they produced their first model in 2019, did about 32 of those, and then moved on to producing uh, this and then also our Pro Series. We do have staff here in the U.S., so like this boat lives in the U.S., this is our demo boat here, um, and you know, are selling these pretty much worldwide. Our founder, Gustav, who lives in the Swedish archipelago, he used to take his kids to get ice cream at the fuel dock in the summers and sort of had a realization that for the $5 ice cream, he was spending $50 in gas to get to the fuel dock and back. Um, and, you know, was like, there's got to be a better way to make a more efficient boat. Um, so efficiency is really at the core of what we believe and what we're trying to achieve. Um, and, yeah, you can see that down to all the little details of aerodynamics, hydrodynamics. Um, so necessity is the mother of invention, and it was necessary that he get his so ice cream at a cheap For less than $50, yes. That That's exactly sense. right. <laughs> um, well, Veronica, I can't thank you enough. For
Yeah, definitely. I mean, we'll be here in the U.S. Um, all year long doing events all over the place. We'll do test rides um, all throughout both coasts. So, you know, if people are interested to come out, uh, you can always shoot us an email um, and we'll be happy to take you aboard and show you what fly -in's like. Sounds like too much fun. We will have uh, links and contact information in the description below. Please leave a comment and uh, let us know what you think of this amazing boat and uh, these amazing people and this beautiful, beautiful uh, finish. We will look forward to seeing a lot more of you in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you.